Hi all, Planticide Agent here. Today I decided to do an update video on my little DIY um, canister or a aluminum container uh, stove. Um, picked these up on eBay. They're <coughs> aluminum, they're screw-on um, little containers. Uh, yeah, I've done, uh, I did the first video, I don't know, about a year ago and uh, I decided uh, to do some updates, some testing anyway to make these things they're supposed to be airtight, but to make them fully watertight, I had to go to the hardware store and get a uh, an O-ring, and uh, then then they were completely watertight at that point. So the main and the main reason I tried this stove is I was looking for a cheap alternative to a uh, Trangia style stove where you could store fuel in it, because I can store fuel in this, seal it up, and then just stick it in one of my kits. And then I'd have a stove. Uh, the only downside is these stoves aren't. The stove isn't as efficient as a uh, Trangia style or even a uh, you know fancy feast. They're a lot more efficient, uh, burn quicker. But uh, this will do the job. But uh, don't be in a hurry. So I don't know if it's really practical or not. It's just a novelty. But uh, I'll just kind of go over what I've been doing. Uh, as part of the update so anyway uh, for the uh, construction of it I'll just go over that again is I just rolled up some uh, uh, carbon felt and uh, for a wick uh, it's kind of similar I think in design to uh, uh, mini bull designs uh, uh, gnome stove but anyway you can unscrew this and uh, I'll go over this piece in a second here. But see, I just have rolled up uh, uh, carbon felt in there, and that soaks up the fuel. And then, uh, so that was my first design. When I tested it, um, it's not real, it's real slow, uh, just as, as is. And uh, let me go back. Also, what I did for my kit that I, uh, I got one of these bottle kits here. And uh, uh, so I bought uh, a, Lex, a Lexata stainless steel wood stove, and I could use that either as a wood stove to boil water, or I could use it as a, a pot stand and a bit of a windscreen for this stove. So anyway, I did some testing on it, and uh, this stove for uh, just a cup of water, uh, I put an ounce in, a cup of water, it took, uh, uh, there's my, let me go back, here we go, my notes here, it took, it took nine minutes to boil a cup of water, and uh, it's pretty slow, and then it, uh, uh, for uh, two cups, it, it's going to be about 18 minutes, and you're going to have to use a little more than an ounce of fuel, because what happened is, toward the end of the, this, two cup and an ounce of fuel didn't quite boil. It was just about there when the stove started to lose its power and it, and it trailed off. So you probably need to add a little more fuel to this to, uh, to get a full boil. In comparison, uh, a fancy feast stove, it'll boil a cup of water in three minutes and 45 seconds and it'll boil uh, two cups in uh, six minutes and 57 seconds, somewhere around there. So anyway, and I boiled, my boil test, I used this uh, 20 some out, 22 ounce uh, Ollie Camp aluminum pot. Okay, so the, the Fancy Feast, it's, it's lighter, but you can't, and it burns quicker, but you can't store fuel in it. That's kind of why I went with this thing here. So anyway, I got to thinking about this, and I saw a couple of videos on, um, Mini Bull Designs uh, a gnome and his turbo gnome, and it, they're a cylinder stove, a little smaller than this and lighter, and but um, they're just an open stove. You can't store fuel in those. But I noticed he has a two models. He has the plane, and then he has the turbo, which uh, he drilled vent holes in here, and that improved the uh, the boil time on that quite a bit. So I got to thinking. I go, hmm, I wonder if I could just add some turbo holes to this and see if that made an improvement. And uh, so what I did was I went and got a uh, pop can and I cut out a strip and I'll give you the, the dimensions on that. 
in here in a sec. Plus, I'll also put them in the description. But uh, I kind of sized it and uh, to sit to fit inside just inside the threads. And right at the bottom of the threads, there's a little lip. I can see it better here. If you can see that there, there's a little bit of a lip. Oops, there you go. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of a lip there that it kind of rests on, okay, and that sets there. And then I, I tried the, a burn test, boil test with the turbo, and it does uh, increase the efficiency quite a bit. Um, the one cup of fuel, 16 or 8 ounces, the boil time was 7 minutes and 33 seconds, so that's uh, quite a bit better. And uh, two cups again we have the kind of the same problem uh, it's going to take a little bit more than an ounce of fuel to get two cups to, to, to come to a boil because it uh, I just guessed it it probably would have started boiling if I had more fuel at about uh, 15 minutes but um, and it ran out at about 17 minutes so but that last couple of minutes it's like you know it's just not enough heat to, to, to get it to a boil so like I said these aren't the most efficient stoves in the world but it it will do the job. It will boil water. Uh, it's not as a little more fuel hungry than, than some of the other stoves. But like I said, the big thing about this was uh, uh, expense, compactness, and uh, able to store fuel in the in the canister. I imagine you get a good two ounces in here if you wanted to. Uh, I never really tried to see how much I could get in here. I guess I should, but I haven't. So anyway... Uh, but the turbo uh, worked pretty good. I'll show you what that, uh, I don't know if I should do both the flame patterns. Uh, I'm gonna do the turbo flame pattern first and then I'll pull off the uh, the turbo ring here and uh, we'll see how that boils. Before I get started though, let me tell you about how I made this. Like I said I, I just cut off out of the bottom of a uh, pop can and the strip is, it's five and an eighth inch in length. It's one inch deep, and then I put uh, down the center line, I put that way, this will go either way. You don't have to put it on either side, either way. But uh, the first hole is about uh, three-eighths in, and then after that, the holes are on uh, three-quarter inch centers. So, and then I just used uh, an old uh, hole punch to punch out the holes, and it works just great, so anyway. And what you can do to, to store this, it worked out quite nicely, is you just kind of curl this up and you can stick it in the lid of the canister and then that will just kind of settle it in there. It'll fit right in there and you screw it right down. So you can store it in there, it won't get all bent or lost. So it works pretty, pretty cool actually. So anyway, let's uh, fire this baby up and I'll show you what it looks like when it burns, the difference between the turbo and the uh, the non. I wonder if I should do this inside the. Let's try it. Not. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to make up my mind. Yeah, maybe I will. Then you can see the flame pattern coming out on the bottom of the pot. So let's do this. That's in there. Make sure you don't smash it down too low and block the turbo holes. I'm not gonna do a full boil test. I'm just gonna throw a little water in this uh, cup over here just so it doesn't scorch the pot. Let me put it up here, so let's get this going here. Give it a few minutes to, to get going. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the lights off. Get a better view of the flame. There you go, how's that look? You can kind of see that the turbo brings in and centers the flame a little bit there. Let's see if I can uh, get in here with the can on the tripod. There you go. Okay. Actually, it takes a, a, a minute or so before it really ramps up good. I think it kind of heats the, uh, the canister and improves the, uh, the airflow. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see, here we go. 
I don't know if you can really see the flame that well or not. Huh. Well, I'm, uh, it's not going to work that well. I'll tell you what, I'm going to uh, turn this off for a second and try something different. Okay, I took it out of the uh, pot stand and put a block to block some of the light up. But there we go. You can see kind of how the, the trouble part of it works. And then when you put it on the, the pot above it, it, it spreads out. Oops. There we go. But the flame pattern does get better as it warms up. Like I said, it's it's about a uh, minute and a half or so quicker by using this than without it, with the turbo ring. So I'll pull off the turbo ring real quick and you can see what the flame looks like without. Ouch. Oh, jeez, dilly. <laughs> there you go. It kind of comes up in the center. I, you know, I'm not really sure why the turbo ring puts out more heat, but it does. Usually when it's it's going, oops, it does center on the pot. You'd think it would boil as fast or faster, but it doesn't. So anyway, that's uh, that's my little DIY canister stove. Okay, I had to come back and reshoot the last half of this video. Um, when I completed it, I forgot to turn the lights back on, which made it really difficult to see. But uh, basically, I was at the point where I was going to snuff this out when I had it without the ring. But I put the uh, turbo ring back on just to show you the, the snuffing. Um, you could probably use anything, pliers or whatever you have. But uh, I just use a clothespin. It's handy. And uh, just uh, get rid of the turbo ring. And then to snuff it out... Just uh, pick up the lid, put it on, boom, done, it's out. So um, you always want to put it on, you could probably actually drop it on with your fingers once you figure out how to get that off. Maybe just use the tip of your knife or a match or something to, to pop the, the turbo ring off. And then, uh, anyway, snuff it off. You don't want to snuff it with the... Uh, a little warm yet <laughs> with the the normal screw on way because then you'd probably damage the o-ring from the heat so that was that uh the other things i had to say was uh, i forgot to mention on the weight and uh, this uh with the uh the turbo ring and uh, the felt carbon felt and an ounce of fuel came in at 2.7 ounces and uh, just the uh, canister, just as is, um, without the, the other pieces, the fuel comes in at, at 1.9 ounces. So just uh, shy of 3 ounces when you're all said and done, which, which isn't bad. Uh, see, the other thing I was going to mention on this was, oh, sometimes these, uh, the uh, turbo ring wants to warp a little bit because of the heat. And what you can do to kind of reform it is uh, just wrap it around the just wrap it around the uh, canister and just kind of mash it in. You can kind of get it to re to reform, and then when you then when you roll it up and stick it inside the lid to stow it, it will uh, go back into shape. And you screw that back on, and there you go. Put it back in your kit. So that's the uh, DIY uh, aluminum canister uh, stove. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.